Hello, my dear viewers. This is Bushprof Bear speaking to you live here from the Canary Islands, La Palma. We are in the middle of the fifth week of the volcano eruption here behind me. Today, I'm a little bit earlier here on the top of the hill and that is very good. So I can relax a little, little bit and I can see here the sunset, very beautiful. And I have got a little bit light left. So I can tell you today I experienced a very strong earthquake. For me, the strongest earthquake since the volcano eruption. Everything was moving a little bit this time. So this was a very an earthquake, earthquake that scared me a little bit. I'm very glad that this earthquake didn't happen during the night. So um, yeah, but we will see. And not to forget, the ground has a deformation of 10 centimeters or more at the moment. So at the moment it is uh, yeah, very tough over here. The volcano is so active since never before and so on. This every day is is uh, is the volcano a little bit stronger at the moment. I have the feeling, you know. And I just can't wait to get some pause of the volcano to to relax a little bit. But that's not possible. It's not possible. We have to live with the situation over here. This evening the air is a little bit fresh. It's not cold, but. It's better to wear, a, to wear a sweatshirt and the air is clean, no ash there. You can see here the city of Los Llanos, crystal clear. And above the city of Los Llanos, you can see El Paso. Let's go a little bit closer. Here, that is El Paso. And the main road goes through El Paso and then there are the mountains and there's the tunnel to the other side, to Santa Cruz de la Palma the capital city. So here you can see the volcano. Maybe on the left you can see some yellow light or something. That is the sun that reflects in some windows of the houses. You can see that on the left side a little bit. Yeah, here the volcano. You can see that the cone of the volcano collapsed. Oh, you see there the lava coming out. And you can see how close some houses are to the volcano. People there are evacuated a long time ago. Here you can see the lava stream and in the middle of the screen, a little bit to the bottom, you can see the city of La Laguna and you see maybe the church is still there. There is a lot of lava that crossed the main road over there. If you go a little bit more to the right, you can see those hills over there or the mountains, the mountain of Todoque and the lava streams. And this one lava stream above Tazacorte did not reach the Atlantic Ocean. Here you can see the old lava stream in the Atlantic Ocean. And right there before in the sea or in the ocean, there is the ship from the scientists and researchers. And here you can see the harbor. It is getting a little bit colder this evening. Maybe autumn arrived here on this island. Today I read some articles about how to behave during an earthquake. And yeah, that's, that is a thing, you know, if you read in the news tips like that, then there is maybe something going on and maybe the earthquakes can get stronger. So I will read that to you in a minute. Oh, before I forget, I have got a Twitter account and there I send tweets immediately when something is happening here on this island, like today. When I did feel this earthquake, I send it out a tweet immediately and I share other information there. The link for the Twitter account you will find under this video in the info box. Earthquake of height 4.8 in La Palma. An earthquake with a magnitude of 4.8 was located on La Palma in the municipality of Maso at a depth of 34 kilometers. As announced by the National Geographic Institute, this is the second largest seismic movement and two previous 
of all that have occurred on La Palma since the beginning of the volcanic eruption on 19th of September. Scientists who monitor the volcanic emergency on La Palma warned this Monday at noon that earthquakes in the region could reach a magnitude of 6 and asked the southwestern neighbors of the island to inquire about how to proceed. Seismologists have confirmed that the most intense earthquake day was experienced during the eruption of the La Palma volcano with neighbors unable to sleep due to the tremors in Maso and landslides in streets and cliffs, according to the biologist and in Vulcan spokesman David Calvo. In fact, the latest IGN report mentions 274 earthquakes between 8 a.m. on Sunday and 8 a.m. on Monday, 24 of which were felt by the population. At noon, Maria Jose Blanco confirmed at the press conference in, Pe in Pevolca that the volcano had experienced the strongest quake in a month. In view of this increase in earth movements, the special plan for civil protection and emergency aid due to volcanic risk, Pevolca, recommends the residents of La Palma to take the following precautions if they are surprised by an earthquake. Kiki, earthquake, earthquake, come on. We need to get out of the house. Earthquake, Kiki. Just kidding. Ooh. What should you do if you are surprised by an earthquake in a house? Do not go outside while the shaking continues. Protect yourself under a door frame or sturdy piece of furniture like a table. Do not stand near windows. If you have to leave your house, isolate the water, electricity and gas. In the event of an evacuation, go down the stairs and do not use the elevator. Follow the recommendations of the authorities and inform yourself through official channels and the media. What if you are outside when the tremor occur occurs? Go to open spaces. Stay away from buildings, balconies, traffic lights, street lights, pow street lights power lines or trees. Do, no, do not go near areas where <clears throat> there is a risk of landslides. The Vice President of the Cabildo de la Palma and Minister of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, José Adrián Hernández, has resigned for personal reasons. New reconfiguration of the main cone of the volcano. As reported by the Canarian government a few minutes ago, the lava emission on the western flank has increased after another reconfiguration of the volcanic cone. The main lava flow runs over the previous drains and within the exclusion zone and seismicity remains high and can cause new landslides so the population must follow the advice of authorities and re to reduce risk. And for tomorrow, they write all educational centers in La Palma will teach classes tomorrow. On this Wednesday, classroom courses take place in all centers of La Palma. All right, my dear viewers, that's all for today. I say thank you very much for your kind comments and prayers. Thank you for your support. I wish you all the very best. I wish all the very best for the people here on this island. We will see us tomorrow in another video. Until then, take care, stay safe, goodbye.